Recent record-breaking floods in Brazil, Kenya and Tanzania, droughts in Botswana and Colombia and unprecedented heatwaves in Southeast Asia have all highlighted what scientists have long been warning. With climate change comes more extreme weather events. And now more records have been broken. April was the hottest on record and the 11th consecutive month to break its own heat record, according to the EU's climate change agency Copernicus. We are moving in a climate that is already, as of today, uh, very different from the climate of the, the climate we grew up in, the climate uh, our civilization has evolved to cope with. That's already what we have now. And what we do know is that the future won't cool down. The future will be more of the same. The latest data brings the average for the last 12 months to 1.61 degrees Celsius, higher than the 1.5 degree goal that countries agreed to under the Paris Agreement to avoid disastrous consequences of warming. April also marked 13 months of high sea surface temperatures, which according to the IUCN can cause coral bleaching, impact marine ecosystems and species, and threaten food security. It's also a direct threat to the planet which needs oceans to absorb greenhouse gases. While the El Nino phenomenon is also a factor in warming surface waters, scientists are concerned that they have retained heat after it's waned. This is what's the most, what's most puzzling, is that um, despite the end of the El Nino event, the sea surface temperatures, the global sea surface temperature remains so high. While not all scientists see eye to eye on whether the Paris Agreement can realistically be met, they are overwhelmingly urging governments to cut CO2 emissions faster to limit damage.